Hi, welcome to my channel, Bruja Tarot. Today I'm doing a reading, um, a money and career reading for the second week of April, okay? So if you haven't uh, listened to the first week of April, I recommend you, you can do that after this. See, um, that might also resonate for you, okay? All right, spirits, angels, guides, please give us clear messages for those who are watching regarding money and career for the second week of April. Please give us clear messages. One more shuffle, guys. I'm using the Chinese tarot. Please give us clear messages for the second week of April for money and career. Ooh, I was going to sneeze there for a second. All right, let's see. This one wants to come, I think, so we'll take that one. All right, so yeah, I'm doing, I'm using the Chinese tarot, and then um, I'll be pulling a fortune cookie at the end. All right, let's see. In the first position is your current financial situation, where new sources of income will come from, opportunities to consider, how these opportunities will benefit you, and the outcome. Okay, the bottom of the deck, the underlying issue is the death card and temperance, okay? So basically, the underlying issue for the coming week is we're trying to balance out some sort of transformation, okay? Um, maybe, the, you know, big changes that are coming up this week and we're trying to remain balanced uh, regarding these big changes that are, that are up ahead, okay? All right, let's see here. The current financial situation is the King of Cups, okay? This is interesting. Actually, this card came up in last week's reading. It was more in the position of the opportunities you have to consider. Um, but okay, in this week, it's about your current financial situation, okay? So it could be that from last week to this week, things are progressing in terms of money and career, okay? With the King of Cups, um, as the current financial uh, situation, it means that you currently have at your disposal, um, you know, the opportunity to uh take on new projects okay i'm uh, that's what i'm i'm sensing here so in the current financial situation um you this coming week you have the opportunity to take on new projects uh to explore new areas within your career i'm i'm thinking okay um and it it could be that altogether you've started a new project that you're going to be working on uh, this coming week, okay? Where new sources of income will come from is the Justice card, okay? All right, so with the Justice card, you know, it's about balance, okay? Um, so if this is in the position of where the new sources of income will come from regarding justice, it means that things are trying to balance out. Okay. So perhaps something that you had before is probably not your current situation because now you're being asked to do something new that is going to balance out you, your, your career, it's going to balance out the environment around you and it's going to balance out just the needs that um, the needs that are needed. I know it's a little redundant. Sorry about that. It's what is needed right now from you. OK, any kind of skills that you may have, whatever you've been doing before, perhaps they're being used towards something new to kind of balance things out. OK, and then and, and these new things that you're going to be doing are the new sources of opportunities for you. OK, but it's also going to balance things out for you with this justice card. And just to mention, this justice card is beautiful with the red and the gold and everything. But yes, the new opportunities are meant to balance out your current financial situation, okay? 
your new sources of income too might also, you know, um, have you bring out, it's, it's going to be calling for you to do something honorable too. Okay. Something righteous, something of virtue. Okay. So perhaps you're being called forward to do something brave. Okay. Um, and something that's going to bring harmony. Okay. And this is where the new sources of income are going to come from. All right. Opportunities to consider is the eight of swords. I don't read reversals. So, um, that's why it came out in the reverse, but I don't read reversals. Um, the opportunities to consider is the Eight of Swords, okay? All right, so with the Eight of Swords in this particular card, we see, you know, these guys just ready, ready for battle, right? Um, perhaps the opportunities that you need to consider um, are things that are going to require, you know, because these are swords, these are often representative of thoughts and being in your mind. Um, th these new opportunities that you have to consider might be uh, causing a little bit of anxiety or some worry for you, okay? Um, but nonetheless, you still have to consider them, okay? And if we remember in the traditional tarot, the Eight of Swords is that one where the woman is kind of tied up and blinded and she has all these swords around her. So this is also, you know, the opportunities that are going to, that are coming to you or like I said, are going to put you in some sort of state of worry or anxiety, but also what you need to consider within this opportunity is that you have to be confident Okay, that you have to be confident in order to move forward and kind of get yourself out of those, you know, kind of mental constraints that you're putting yourself in with regards to this opportunity. Okay, um, and th what this particular card has to say too in this deck is that you kind of have to be ready to battle, right? as opposed to the other card in the traditional tarot where it's kind of somebody's confined, this is saying more like you have to be ready for battle and you have to be ready to go, okay? You kind of have to put that confidence forward and, and see that the opportunities that you're considering here are, are going to require this kind of courage and confidence in order for you to move forward, okay? How these opportunities will benefit you is the devil, Okay, this actually, this devil card has been coming up a lot in, in these April readings. Um, so how these opportunities will benefit you is the devil card, okay? Maybe the way that it's going to benefit you is that you will, you know, kind of come in contact with your dark side here, okay? Uh, the dark side is a lot of different things, right? It could in relationship to money and career, um, it could have to do with feeling limited or feeling bound maybe to, you know, this sense of anxiety here, okay, or worry, okay. Um, but it's going to benefit you because you're going to be able to work through that energy, okay. You're going to be able to work through that energy of, of, uh, feeling confined and, and bounded to something, okay? Uh, perhaps you're, it's going to benefit you in the way that um, you're going to be able to leave that bondage behind or that worry behind because you're going to have to surpass it in some way, okay? Okay. Also, you know, with, in, in this particular deck, the... Um, the devil also is represented as like a weird experience, bad outside influence or advice, unexpected failure, okay? Those are all things to consider, but at the same time, yeah, this comes out in the position of how this opportunity will benefit you, okay? Maybe you will have that type of experience with whatever uh, opportunity this is, okay, which is a little bit dark and a little bit kind of heavy to think about, 
Um, but ultimately, this is meant to benefit you, okay? Having this type of experience, this kind of devil bondage experience is meant to um, enlighten you in some way, okay? Um, because also the justice card is about enlightenment here, okay? Maybe this type of experience is meant to just kind of propel you forward and transform you in some sort of way, okay? And then the outcome card is the chariot, all right? This also came out in last week's reading with respect to the money uh, reading. You're going to be moving forward, okay? You're going to be making progress. You're going to be successful moving forward, um, the great thing about this card is you have a dragon here propelling, you know, this chariot forward. Okay. So you're going to be successful in terms of moving forward. There is going to be, you know, a lot of, uh, kind of balance, you know, there's two major arcana here, right? There's the devil and the justice. So these are like kind of deep transformations, kind of deep undertakings that you're going to be going through here in the coming week okay but ultimately you're going to be successful moving forward okay spearheading forward moving forward let me see what the just what else the book has to say about that yeah so it says a passionate warrior raises his spear against the forces of evil a dragon draws his chariot okay the divinatory meanings are adversity, possibly already overcome, conflicting influences, vengeance, success, possibly a voyage or journey, escape, rushing to a decision, okay? So basically, you're going to be propelling forward. You're going to be in this warrior mode, okay? You are going to be getting yourself out of this, like, mental anxiety energy. You are going to be um, kind of dealing with some dark forces here, you know, perhaps uh feeling a little troubled and conflicted worried but ultimately you're going to be in this warrior mode and you're going to be successful in in this endeavor okay um but you are going to experience this in the coming week okay but it's all to kind of bring out justice to kind of put you in touch with a darker side a more challenging side that makes you feel bonded to something okay but ultimately, you're going to be the successful warrior who's just spearheading forward, okay? I think that's pretty cool. Um, all right, now we're going to pull a fortune cookie. Oh, here we go. This one wanted to come out. Challenges. Take time out from problems or conflicts or approach softly to avoid making matters worse, okay? So perhaps, you know, during the week, you need to kind of take out time from this from this energy here of uh, worrying or feel feeling bonded, you know, maybe you're feeling bonded to your work or bonded to your, um, what you have to do here, okay? Um, and so the fortune cookie is saying, take time out from problems or conflicts or, or approach softly to avoid making matters worse. So take time out. From the problems and the conflicts, approach softly and to avoid making matters worse, okay? So just tread lightly this week because there is going to be some challenges ahead, okay, in terms of this energy here. But if you take time out, you know, with like self-care, uh, eating right, avoid conflicts, approach things softly, ultimately you're going to be this uh, successful uh, warrior here. Okay. All right. So that's your reading for this upcoming week of April. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.